Hello, everybody, and welcome to Hashtag Truth. Now, tonight we have Five Star District's Max Carnage. But before we start asking questions, I'm going to give a few seconds for some people to get in here. I have a few announcements to make. The first one goes to Boomer Payne and uh, his good buddy for getting me hooked on this uh, soda right here. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate that. You made me 500 pounds uh, heavier. My wife appreciates it too because she has to go to the store and buy it for me all the time. Had to put that out there. The second thing is Max Carnage, brother, me and you have been trying for about a month now to get together and get you on this show. And it just seems like either wrestling or life just takes control for both of us. It ain't just you. It's both of us. And we I'm finally doing. got you on here, man. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. It's good to see you. All right. We're going to start the show off the way we started off with every wrestler that comes on this show, man. Tell the audience how you got into wrestling uh, at what age did you know you were going to be a professional wrestler, and who was your first trainer? Well, wrestling has been a very big part of my life ever since I was a little kid. One of my very first events I ever went to, my father took me to WCW Nitro. I think it was May 24th in 1999 in Greenville, South Carolina at the Bilo Center. That was the, and I went there. That's when I've very first saw wrestling with my own eyes and then dad was watching it on tv and then he'd go to bed and i'd still be up watching all of his wrestling tapes mainly wrestlemania 4 but after that i decided to get so so your so your so your father was a huge wrestling fan also he was he was that, that's he always is. good man when you got a collection before you even you know get old enough to know what you're doing man that that's awesome right there that I love right. that. And you said you watched WrestleMania 4. So this was back before, you know, the network. And this is back when you had to either record them on VHS tapes or go buy them on VHS, right? That's right. That's exactly right. So who – I can't remember who wrestled in WrestleMania 4 because that was after – that was after Hulk Hogan and Andre. Who who was the main event of WrestleMania 4? I can't remember. Oh, gosh. You ask me this now. Um <laughs> You brought it up, brother. <laughs> I know. That's all right. I ain't going to put you on the spot, man. Offhand. I can't but, recall yeah, right offhand. <laughs> when, when you went to that show in 99, was uh, the NWO out? Eh, I don't, Piper was there, but there wasn't really much of the NWO over there. I don't, I don't was, think uh, the NWO came out until right after 2000. I think it was after 2000 when they, when they did that, wasn't it? Well, see, I, I know Chris Benoit took on Buddy Lee Parker that night. That was a really oh, man. good match. Then we had Bam Bam Bigelow, Diamond Dallas Page, and Ric Flair. They beat Benoit, Malenko, and Rowdy Piper in the main event. So that was Oh, really wow. Nice. Man, Dean Malenko, the man of a thousand holes. I used to love watching that. People, a lot of people didn't like him because they thought his matches were boring, but I love that. I love his style of wrestling, brother. It, it, when you get in there and do a lot of chain wrestling and a lot of holds and – and, and, and trying to tap your guy out, that, that's my kind of wrestling right there. So speaking of that, who do you model Who do you model your wrestling after? I watched a lot of great Kabuki and great Muda growing up, but I loved watching Rob Van Dam. He was one of my favorites, and I will always, always, I will always recommend watching him and Jerry Lynn. That's the match that really hooked me. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Dexter Meyer said WrestleMania 4 was horrible. <laughs> uh, we love you, Dexter, man. I'm going to have to get you back on the show sometime soon. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, I've changed my schedule. I'm no longer trying to do a Monday through Friday thing on Hashtag Truth. I have changed it to Mondays and Fridays. I am booked through uh, July, but... With all the cancellations I've been getting, they tell me, everybody's telling me my days are kind of not good. So at the end of this month, I will be changing to Sunday and Thursday. So just let everybody know, give everybody a heads up. Uh, but I will be Monday and Friday through the rest of this month. 
that's what was getting me and Max here goofed up because every Friday I wanted him on the show. He was at a show himself, and hey, wrestling comes first, and, and I know that, so it's a good thing. Trayton, Trayton said, "Gore off." What does that mean? <laughs> do you do you have a clue what he's talking about? Well, if you know Trayton pretty well, you know he works with on the haunts. He loves haunting all the time. Ah. I was involved. I worked at a haunted house growing up when I I think I was twenty two at the time. So okay. I worked at a haunted house, and I showed him some pictures, and he was like, "Me and you need to have a gore off." And basically, from what I believe, what it is. Is a bunch of scary pictures with blood all over the place, you know, just some just scary haunted house pictures. <laughs> I I'd like to see some wrestling matches like that personally. I, I love I love to see wrestlers juice, man. That that's my kind of wrestling match. Uh, I got a few stories up here. Just a few. <laughs> Junior said you are his adopted son. I am love righteous. You, I am righteous. Wants to know what is the best fidget spinner to own and why? Oh my god! There's there a story a, behind that one, brother. I know that. There is a hilarious story behind that. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> okay. Put a put an imaginary fidget spinner in your hand, right here. Hold okay. it with your middle finger. Okay. okay. And now try to try to spin it with your index finger, but your index finger doesn't have that part. It just doesn't work. <laughs> so okay. Put a, wrestler that, put a wrestler that cannot work in front of that fidget spinner, and that is now their fidget spinner because they cannot work. <laughs> ne- never heard of one at anything put that way, but that, that makes sense. There is a long, long story behind that. <laughs> Max and I were laughing so hard last Saturday. What were you and Dexter doing that you guys were laughing so hard? Basically, he was showing me a bunch of videos, and we saw a video, a certain video of somebody saying they had a broken arm, but they kept holding their cell phone out like this. Like, how do you have a broken <laughs> arm, but you can still move your arm? <laughs> Man. What were they, YouTube videos or something? Pretty much. You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie said, what's up? Frank Roof said, son, please. I don't know what that's all about, but Brandon Owens wants to know, what's the best match you have had so far? Oh, Lord, where do I start? I had a pretty good match with him. and Where was that at? First time, that was up in Rutherford, North Carolina. My first okay. match with Brandon Owens was the very first time I ever took a Spanish fly, and I almost, I almost broke my neck. <laughs> oh no! Did you guys just was, uh, not not hold on to each other, or just it didn't sync up, or what happened? We can say Brandon is really quick. <laughs> <laughs> you you weren't expecting that that much quickness, huh? No, <laughs> I really want to wrestle him again because I think I can match his speed this time. <laughs> Now, I advertised, because we just hooked this up about two hours ago, um, I advertised, and there was one Chris Vallow who uh, was saying a lot of stuff on your page. I don't see him on here yet. He hasn't said anything. Where you at, Chris? You had a lot to say on that. I know you're watching. He's just mad because I spit in his face. (laughs) Frank said, this dude looks like a fidget spinner. Uh Uh-oh, Frank and you must have issues or something, or he just don't like the way you look. I don't know. I think it's the way I look, but hey. Frank says he's about to juice me. Frank, anytime you want to come and juice me, brother, bring it on. Put glass on your fist. Do what you got to do, man. I'm a big boy. I can handle myself. I got a bunch of wrestling friends. I know I know a few things. Dexter Myers, he must be laughing about your YouTube story. What is UIW, Underground Independent Wrestling? If you were talking about the match that me and Brandon had, yes. That's where it was. Was that at, was that at UIW? Yes, sir. It was. Okay, so U, UIW is, uh, and I like to refer to them as the Anything Goes Wrestling Company, right? Pretty much, pretty much. Yeah, I when, you, when you go... 
I, I think they've shut down for it right now. I'm, I'm not sure, but I was told here recently that I think they're looking for a new building or something. I don't know the whole story. I'm not, you know, but I think as of right now, I, I think they're shut down. Frank, you keep saying, son, please. Who are you begging? I, I just want to know. Inquiring minds want to know, Frank, who are you begging? Are you begging me? Are you begging him? What, what What's going on with that, man? I'm confused. So, who, who is your favorite wrestler right now today? It could be an indies wrestler. It can be a superstar. Who Who is your favorite wrestler right now? Who do you look up to right now and go, man, you know, I, I'm studying this guy? Probably Will Ospreay, but – I I cannot I can't do a backflip to save my life so I can't I can't try and focus on that <laughs> but I like Will Ospreay but now I'd say the, anybody right now it's Moxley Moxley right. all the way now I, wonder, I was gonna bring this up is that because of your injury you had recently or is it just because you can't do a backflip I just can't do a backflip I try and I try but I just can't do it <laughs> okay. Now, the, I have to tell everybody, and, and we discussed this before I came on, the first time I had ever heard the name Max Carnage, and I was just getting, you know, settled in, doing my show here, and Zach Zulo came on and did a, you know, one of his fat man rants. You were injured at the time. You'd gotten injured at a wrestling show, and you had to go fund me up, and he was mad because people weren't, you know, all the wrestling people weren't coming together to help everybody out. Not not just you, but everybody else. And I talked to you a couple weeks after that, and you had told me that the GoFundMe page blew up after that and that you actually got all your bills paid from it. Tell, tell us how all that came about, your injury all the way through. Well, when I got injured, I got tossed to the outside of the ring, and when I hooked onto the rope to go to the apron, I landed on the steel side of the ring. And my hip popped out of place, tumbled down to the floor. Things get worse. I had, and then suddenly I have security, other wrestlers, fans, even my own soon to be wife is hanging above my face, wondering what happened. They take me to the back. Jacob Ryan helps me out. He does, he does a few leg stretches with me. And we find out exactly what happened. And then we leave the show. We go to the hospital after two hours of waiting in the hospital. We get, I get X-rayed, CAT scans, MRIs, all that, all the fun stuff. Then only to get a needle shoved in my hip, two painkillers, and get sent on home with a prescription for antibiotics and a few painkillers, and basically just physical therapy until I was walking better. I was really nervous about getting. So, so you didn't have any kind of surgery or anything. It was basically something you had to work your way through. Yeah. And it's bad enough when I don't have health insurance. So that's why the bills skyrocketed very, very high. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can imagine, brother. But like you said, the people finally got together and helped you out. And that, that's, that should be what wrestling is all about, man. We, we say that all the time. I say that all the time on Hashtag Truth. A lot of people that come on here, man. You know, I, I think of wrestling and, and all the independents as a family. I, I know they don't. I know there's a lot of independent uh, promoters and owners out there and things like that that don't get along with each other just because, you know, what for whatever reason. There, there's a ton of them out there. But I, I think that, that people should, you know, come together and make wrestling the best it can be. And, and you have a good story, man. This, 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 these are the kind of stories we like to have coming out of wrestling. I appreciate that. Thank you. Stephen Fry said, when are you going to appear at the Dallas Brewery? Hopefully by, by the next show. All right, man. Sounds good. Brandon Ledford's giving us the UI, uh, UIW update. He said they are in hiatus for a moment. A new building has been found, but they're waiting for roof work to be, go for, uh, roof work to be done. Okay. So it looks like uh, UIW will be back on track here in a few short months or so. It should be called, hey, I'm not trained to wrestle federation because you're a backyard wrestling goof. Frank Roof has problems with you, brother. I'm saying, <laughs> I think Frank Roof just likes doing this to everybody because he does it to me, too. So don't feel bad. We love you, Frank. No matter what you say on here, we love you. 
Uh, yeah, my wife passed by. You'll have to excuse me. I have a sick daughter back here. She got into poison ivy, and my wife's kind of helping her out back there. It kind of spread all over. So you'll, you'll see her go back and forth. I apologize. Hopefully soon I'll have my wall put up. I'm working on it, everybody, so that way all that will be not be seen, and you won't see the where the magic happens, so to speak. All right. Dexter Meyer said, y'all need to stay off my boy. There you go. You got back up. Thank you, Dex. Brandon Ledford said he forgot her name. He must be talking about the owner of uh, Underground. Scott, I like the new look. Uh, it's not really a new look, Jamie. Um, I've got like five backgrounds that I switch around and use. Um, I used this background before uh, when I interviewed. Who did I interview with this background? Aston Williams, Aston Williams. And uh, so actually I have like five or six that I, that I switch around and I, and I try to make things different, but thanks a lot for the compliment, brother. I appreciate it. Junior says, now you are a part of five star. Where do you see yourself in the group? Good question. The new upcomer pretty much. <laughs> I can't say that I'm the best. Can't say I'm the best, but. July 20th, I'm supposed to be taking on Aaron Bond in a one-on-one -on -one match as a little initiation, you can say. So, I hope Aaron's ready for that because I'm bringing him everything that I got. There you go, man. I love answers like that. Now, do you – do five? I, I think I asked this um, when Cade was on um, – do you, does five star like working together? If you can get all five guys, if you can get them to book all five guys, would you rather have all five guys there together? Or is it just whenever possible you do your singles thing until a booker decides to, or a promoter or owner or whatever decides to bring all five of you together? Well, from what I have seen from five star, pretty much when no matter it be a tag team match, a six man tag, or a singles match, five star is always there. We always have eyes watching. So, there you go. I love it. You get one, you get us all. There you go. Brandon Lefford said, damn, I don't know what that was about, but I think she's he was probably talking about my daughter. Dexter said, the apron is the most dangerous part of the ring. We're taught to avoid it at all costs. It's literally a corner of solid steel. Sadly, accidents happen. Glad to see you're better. Thank you, Dexter. I am righteous said serious person question. Alice Cooper shirt or Rob Zombie shirt? What you gonna choose, brother? Alice Cooper or Rob Zombie? Well, I have a bunch of Rob Zombie shirts, so I'm gonna have to go with Cooper. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> he went with Alice Cooper. Mm -hmm. Frank Roof said Dexter Myers true statement. He loves Dexter, but he hates us. Go figure, right? I mean, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Dexter Myers, I've been doing this for 30 years, and the apron hasn't changed a bit. You're right. It's always – I'm a I'm a fan, and the apron's never going to change, man. <laughs> Who is your favorite company to work for, Stephen Fry wants to know. I had a great time at the AML Future Star show I got to work at. I had a really good time there, but if I had to say probably one of my favorite promotions I've ever wrestled for would be – Probably ACCW. I have a great time every time I go there until I got injured. But, right. you know, you can't help that. <laughs> so, since your injury, um, a serious question here. Uh, you brought it up again. Is is it harder for bookers to come to you? Are they asking you questions now that you're back? Are they making sure you're fully healthy and, and all that? Or I have a few asking me for doctor's notes still. <laughs> But hey, you know, just to well, show them that hey, I'm fine. We we know. live in we live in a day and age where you know sometimes they got to do that, man. I mean, I can understand, That's right. you know, some of them because some people will lie and and just to try to get away with something. You know what I'm saying? It makes me feel like they think I'm mad at them, but I'm really not. I understand you need a doctor's note just to prove that hey, I'm fine. So I don't right. mind one bit. Hey, as long as you can move around, as long as you can take a bump, 
that that's good enough for the fans. I don't know about them, but <laughs> what promotions are you looking into working uh into working for in the future? Neil Lee wants to know. I set small time goals and I set ultimate goals. My small time goal at the moment, I want to get into into PWX. That is my that is my that's right here at the moment, and that's what I'm focused on. But my ultimate goal is to get the Ring of Honor or New Japan. Nice, no WWE, huh? Mm -mm. No. <laughs> okay, I won't make you elaborate. Jamie Lee said, new video dropping July 3rd. Be sure to check it out. Okay. Definitely will. Thank you very much, Jamie. And every week, the month of July. Okay. I'm going to start writing those down then. You're a breaking news now. Yes, uh, you're making me breaking news. That, that's great. Thank you, Jamie. We'll be looking forward to all those videos, man. Uh, I want to see... Uh, I want to see your boys and you back on the show pretty soon, man, with some belts around your waist. Dexter Myers, uh, Cooper. Does that make sense to you? Who's Cooper? Good music taste. Ah, gotcha. Oh. Alex Cooper. Never mind. Alice Cooper. Um, Junior says, I still need an invite to the wedding. So tell me about that. that. You're getting married soon, man. What's your wife like? She's the best. She is the best. She puts up with me, and that's all I can ask for. <laughs> she accepts. She accepts that you want to be a full time professional wrestler at one point in your life. Yes. Yes. She is actually very supportive of that. Actually, that's that's awesome to hear because that's what you got to have in, in that line of business. Brandon Owen said, "This guy. <laughs> this guy." <laughs> Brandon Ledford said, "Tell him to come to EWF." I would love to come to EWF. <laughs> the new champion, Jake Jacobs, says, hashtag, you're welcome. If you guys haven't seen Jake Jacobs, uh, won a title over the weekend. Congratulations, Jake. Um, How would you... What, how would you feel about going up against somebody like Jake Jacobs or, or a bad guy of that, of that caliber? Would you... Would you agree to a match no if he came in and said, hey, I want to fight you, man? Championship or no championship, I'm down for anything. There you go, Jake. Put up, your put up your title, man. Here you go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to book it for you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh, Brandon. Oh, oh I, I read it wrong. Another underrated wrestler. Yes, I agree with that. I've seen some of your uh, – I have seen some of your things on YouTube. I've seen some of your matches on Facebook. Very underrated guy. Um, love to watch him wrestle. I, I've seen probably four or five matches, and, and you're good, man. I mean, here's a, here's a question for you because I've seen you in both tag team and singles. Which do you prefer, singles or tag? I prefer single matches, but I have fun in tag matches as well. Um, if you could wrestle anybody that's not in the Indies, name me a superstar that you, if, if, if one of the big guys from one of the other shows called up and said, Max Carnage, I want, want to put you on the show for a one and done. I want to wrestle you. Who, who would you hope you'd get that phone call from? Colt Cabana to Jerry, one of the two. Wow. Not, good picks, man. Can't argue with those. Junior says Max is one of the best independent wrestlers in the business. I do agree. Uh, <laughs> Brandon Ledford. This Don't this is it. not to you, brother. This is to uh this is to Jake Jacobs. Hashtag you suck. Uh-oh. Jake Jacobs says done. I'm calling you. So you can witness the Jake Jacobs experience first hand. So there you go. We 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 might get you a matchbook, brother. Get you a tag. Get paint, you a get. Try to get you a title, to man. Jake Jacobs experience walls green. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So how'd you come up with, man? I love the face paint and the and, and the pictures you have out, man. Who came up with that? 
Uh, did you do that yourself? Did somebody come up to you? Did you ask questions about, you know, th there's always, everybody has a different story how they come up with their character, man. How'd you come up with, with your face paint and stuff? There's a very hilarious story about my face paint. It, I can I can talk for about three hours, but I'm not holding you guys up for three hours. I don't even. Think well, give us give us the shortened version. Short, give us the WWE shortened uh, clip version of it. Well, I was wrestling for a certain promotion, and they brought a guy down from New York, and he says, "I'm looking for some talent to bring up to New York. I'm looking for characters. I'm looking for the creativity." You know, he he looked, he listed a whole bunch of stuff, and so. The one thing that really hit me was character. And I looked at myself and I saw just this. And I'm like, I need to put some face paint on. Stand out. Because I'm a small guy. So, I'm going to try and stand out as best as I can. And I just threw face paint on. And now, apparently, I worship Satan because of my face paint. <laughs> you, you're in the, the South, brother. You are in the South. You look anything, anything like the devil, like anything the devil. like a ghost, anything like any. Anything dark or evil, and and you are a Satan worshiper, man. Let me tell you, I I couldn't tell you the number of times I've been asked if I've if I'm one just for having wrestlers like you and others on. I mean, I had uh, let me give you a good example of that. I had I'm pretty sure you've heard this name before, Jackson Sane. I had him on my show back when I was doing this with the telephone, and he was actually out in a barn doing his gimmick with his you know his mask and the whole nine yards and you should have sir you should have seen the messages and the phone calls i got from people who out my friends outside of the wrestling you know that that called me up and said hey man what are you into now what is this stuff <laughs> i was like man it's a character bro settle down you know it, it's wrestling you, you'll get over it watching this stuff. oh man i i love jackson saying the minute i watched him now you, you said you got ideas. Did you get ideas from other people, or is the face paint always the same? Do you change it up? How do, how do you go about when you hit the locker room, what goes through your head as far as I got to get ready for the show? Basically, I just stare at myself in the mirror, and I just try to throw a face paint idea. But the whole look I've been doing on this side and this whole look right here it has been – it's stuck. And I was putting Max on my chest, but, you know, I stopped doing that. I have a hole in the side of my face from where some of the face paint actually irritated my skin. It gave me a giant oh, wow. bump on my face, and I had to get Yeah, I see that. Move. Oh, wow. Because there's, there's a lot I of – I came up with the character, but the inspiration to the character was that guy saying that he was looking for some more talent to take up the New York. And that's when the character was born. So, so what kind of, what kind of, what kind of guy are you when you put on the face paint? I mean, usually people, you know, when you, when you hear somebody, you know, who puts on face paint, I'll give you an example, like in uh, WWE, you know, you've got, uh, you know, he, he transforms when he, when he turns into a gold dust, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's a different character altogether, different person. Do you, do you like transfer into another, totally another person or are you just Max Carnage with an evil-looking face? You know, it's very hard to explain. Once you put, once you put the face paint on, it's like something just changes up here. You're not. No, yourself. it's it. I, I've, I've heard, heard I've heard tons of wrestlers say, "Man, I get into a, you know, uh, I, I sit down and and become that character. I'll sit down for a few minutes and just rock back and forth and." I put my mindset totally on being this character. And when they come through the curtain, that's all they think about until they, you know, go back into the locker room, man. And, and sometimes I, I've heard some wrestlers say that they actually had to be snapped out of it. You know, I guess that's where people, you know, start talking devil worshiping crap, but you know, oh <laughs> there's some people that seriously, you know, there, there's some, I imagine there's some people that would seriously get into their gimmick like that. You know what I'm saying? But right. does the does the face paint represent anything, or is it like you said, just to put more eyes on you? Basically, I just saw I saw a bunch of things of face paint and brushes, and I said, you know, I'm just gonna go to town with this, see what I can do. There's no okay. reference behind anything, okay. really. Like okay. there's no 
there's nothing satanic about it, but you know, right. that's the nickname I was given. So, you know, Hey, you got to run with it. So, so where but, did you get the, where, where, where did Max Carnage come from? That That's a good question since you brought that up too. What, who is Max Carnage? In 2016, I was wrestling as Chris Carnage for a new millennium championship wrestling. And okay. I went to, I jumped to different promotions and then that's new millennium out of, uh, uh that's uh, just north of here, uh, Kings Mountain, right? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 it just blanked out for a second, but that's Kings Mountain. So you started. So you started as Chris Carnage up up at New Millennium. Yes. So when did it change over to Max? I want to say probably November of twenty sixteen. Just it was it was right before 2017, so it was around that time. But Max was the name Max was actually given to me. We kept Carnage, but he's like, you know, let's throw Max in there. Let's see how that goes. And it popped, so I stuck with it. There you go. So are you looking to develop your character further, being in five star? Um, do you guys sit down and and think of how you guys can you know maximize this this faction you've got and and build up your characters or right now is it just too new to to get into that well you know there's always room for improvement no matter what you're doing but i'm pretty sure once we get everything set and done we can all sit down and talk about what all things we can do to improve ourselves and others and just basically just go from there right I got to put this up here, man. Neil Lee, who is going to be on my show, by the way, this month. I will be putting out my the rest of my schedule up uh, probably tomorrow after I interview Felix Feelgood, who is another member of Five Star. I'll have three down and two to go at that point. So I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you guys for all coming on my show. Neil Lee says, tell PXW why they should book you, Brian Kanabrowski watches the show occasionally, so let him hear why they should give you a chance. Promo time. Basically, pretty much why you should book me at PWX is because I'll give you something different than half of your roster is giving you. And that's pretty much all you need to know. Ooh, I like it. I like it. He said, I bring – what is that difference? I'm going to ask that. Maxwell Carnage Fourth the 4th. Imagine Max Carnage very rich and spoiled. That would be the name. Gotcha. We talked two hours about that name. At, at, at that point, you'd have to come out like uh, Ted DiBiase, and, and you got to have, you know, money spurting out of your hands and stuff, right? Yeah, we'll get Canadian money. It's it's better than American money anyway. Monopoly money, it's all good, right? As long as, it, oh, long as it's money. money. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I've got to the end of the questions, man. Um, you guys have any questions for Max Carnage? Be sure to put it up. Up, I will ask him. No problem. Joseph Edwards says, "Love you, buddy." <laughs> A lot of people like Max Carnage, man. I have not. I have not seen many who have has said anything negative about you. Um. Every promoter I've talked to said you were a good worker. You work hard. Uh, you show up. You pay your dues. I mean, that's a good thing to have is 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 people who are are backing you up in the business. How do you feel about the business today? What 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 would you see? Uh, what would you like to change in the business that that is today? I mean, would you make any changes, or is everything going peachy keen for you? To be honest, if there is one thing I would actually change in the business is other people's mindsets. Show up to the show in the morning, set the ring up, go grab you something to eat, come back, tear the ring down, then go home. That's honestly what I would change. People's mindsets need to be, you're getting booked on the show. You need to show that promotion why you're glad that you're there. Help pick up a freaking board. Pick up a board, pick up the mats, pick up a canvas, pick up something. Help set up the show. Show them why you're glad to actually be on the show. Don't just stand around talking with your buddies. 
That was better than your that's promo, brother. <laughs> that that's was few, straight from the heart. That's one of the few man. things that gets me heated. It gets me so I mad. I can see it, man. It was in your eyes. I almost started to cry. I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I almost I turned around to look for a, for a ring, man. I wanted to start doing something. <laughs> like, Here's I mean, a question. <laughs> Are you friends with the Reaper still? Everybody's friends with the Reaper. As long as you don't fear it, you're fine. <laughs> Okay. Uh... <laughs> Nia Lee said, sorry, I meant PWX. He said PXW. That's all right, man. We we knew who, who you meant. We we know who you meant. But yeah, I've got I've got a lot of people coming on in the next month. A lot uh some of them are uh not in the business anymore. Some of them been in the business 20 years and and it's gonna be fun. Uh my show's coming up. Uh, I'm going to have people like Father Darkness on. I'm going to have uh, Neil Lee's going to be on. I'm going to have I Am Righteous on. So I Am Righteous. Do you, do you, everybody, see, that's that's the look and the expression and everything that I get every time I say that man's name. Why did you give me that look right there? That man is, that man is something else. Hey, tell you, me, tell me before he gets on my show, what do I, what am I going to expect out of I am righteous? Expect everything, honestly. When you're I know he's, I know he's good at trivia book. because we had a trivia challenge on Facebook and he whooped my tail. So he's smart. He is really smart. I, I found that out. <laughs> Best part about him, he's a member of the Kiss Army, and that's good in my book. There you go. Junior Stevens says Max showed up for the promotion on crutches and helped set up the ring when he was injured. Man, that's dedication right there. You gotta do what you gotta do. Who yeah, man. I I'll, I'll give you I give you that. Yeah. Sweet. See that's that's when you know that's when you know wrestling is is your life, man. That that you know, we, we like to throw that out there, but if you show up after throwing out your hip or injuring yourself and you still show up to help your your fellow wrestlers or your fellow promotion man that is awesome no well, i'll be honest with you 95 percent of the time they were telling me carnage you don't need to be helping me with anything and i would still follow them around trying to grab it but... <laughs> there you go alex bows he says i'm not worthy huge fan brother glad you are a five star can we see a creepy ewf debut debut in your future Ooh. We need to make that happen. We really do. I would love to come and wrestle for EWF. All right, man. I'll I'll, I'll put a word in. I will definitely do that. That would be that would be awesome for me because you know I am I, I I am the EWF fan club president. So I'll I'll put out some videos and and, and get the word you out the that you want to come. Would look good with green face. Oh no, no, don't break my heart, man. Don't make me don't make me hate you, man. Come on now. We were doing so good. Now you want to be an unbookable? Come well, see, on. First man. it needs to be Chris Vallow because I already made his face green. Now it's time to make it blue, red, yellow, whatever, whichever one I pick. Oh, shots fired out to Chris Vallow. Chris, you heard it first here on hashtag truth. Max Carnage wants a piece, brother. He wants a piece. Neil Lee said, you said you couldn't backflip. I had the same phobia for about my first three years in the business, but I recommend a diving board and a swimming pool and get the motion down that way. It will add a whole new dimension to your skill set. So there you go. You get some advice, man. Thank you very much, Neil. We appreciate that. I appreciate that. We will, we will ask you all about your uh, swimming pool when we get you on the show further on in the in the month, man. I'm definitely going to ask you about all that because if you, if you wrestle or you were a wrestler and you got a swimming pool in your backyard, you were doing something right. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so how long have you been in the wrestling business? How long, how long since uh, – oh, we – I forgot to ask you. I think I asked you, but I don't think you uh, actually gave a name. Who who started training you when you started in the wrestling business? The American GI, Richie Scruggs. And then I went to the Millennium Championship Wrestling and trained under Shane Austin for a while. Okay. So how long, how long have you actually been in wrestling? How long have you been a wrestler? 
March was four years. March 15th was four years. Nice. Nice. I got an echo back on that. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm getting a bunch of echoes. <laughs> How many wins do you have in wrestling, Reagan wants to know? That's wow. <laughs> in four years? I wish I knew. That's Reagan, it's okay, it's it's it's, it's probably pretty high. Four years in wrestling, it, it's probably pretty high there, Reagan. But thanks for asking. If you got any more questions, be sure to put them up there. I will definitely ask. So you said PWX is your next step, is, is your next goal, correct? Yes, that's where I would like to be, honestly. That's, that's where you would like to be. So if Brian and them were to call you tomorrow and tell you to be ready, would you be ready? I'd be going to the gym and get the cardio up. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be ready. <laughs> All right, that's what we want to hear, man. That's what we want to hear. So, right now, tell me, tell me in the audience where you're going to be in the near future. Where are you being booked right now? July twentieth, I'll be at ACCW in Hidden Night, North Carolina. Then we have the new, the new upcoming promotion, Ace. They have their first show August sixteenth, and that's going to be really great. Hopefully, anybody has the chance. To if you guys don't season. know about the Ace promotion and the new upcoming com- promotion, look on my Facebook page. You don't have to scroll down very far. Um, they are they are uh, putting it on my page, too, and I asked them to do that. It, it's going to be a great promotion. I'm seriously considering coming up there and watching the first show. It looks really good. Um, they're we having need, a lot of good wrestlers up there. On. What was that? on your show. You need to get their whole staff on your show. That is They're awesome. A great group of guys. Well, help me work on that, brother. I would I would greatly appreciate to have them all. I, anybody that's involved in, in, in independent wrestling, I would love to have on my show, man. Everybody always has an open invitation to come on Hashtag Truth. Also, on August 10th, you'll see me get to beat the crap out of Brett West for AWC. Because nice. AWC owes me something since November of last year, and I still have yet to get that, so I have to beat some sense into somebody just to show them, hey, I need this. So what is it? Because the inquiry mind wants to know. What is that? In November, me and Nefarious were in a tag team match up against Mike Levy and Johnny Ryder. And if if, if our team won, I have my spot in the Catawba Valley Classic Championship Tournament. And that was supposed to be this year. Was it this year? Nope. It's been pushed to next year. Why? Oh. Nobody's answering my phone calls, text messages, emails, nothing. So the only thing I know is I'm booked up against Brett West August 10th, and somebody's about to get their ass whooped. No. Uh-oh. You heard it first on hashtag truth. There it is. Max Carnage, just got to add, my favorite match of yours was the Reapers Playground match last year at UIW, perhaps the best performance I've seen of you. I'm curious, though, before that match, how many people compared you to Brian Thrill? I don't think I've ever been compared to Brian Thrill. If there's any anything I, I've been compared to, Sabu. That's the only thing I've honestly been Sabu, called. Sabu, that's, 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 that's big talk. That's because I got tangled up in wire. That's big talk right there. Sabu is the EC Dub legend, my friend, man. I mean. I can't even match up to that. Why would you call me Sabu? That's what <laughs> I would get. Hey, but if somebody's calling you Sabu, that's that's one of the biggest uh, compliments you could get in the business, brother. Sabu. Sabu always made people stand up. Let me tell you, he, he was – he was EC Dub for a while. It was actually that same night that he's talking about. I had a audience member throw a plate of nachos, nachos with cheese dip on it, like cheese sauce and jalapenos. And oh my gosh! My back. my back had cuts on it, and it oh, they got that oh, that man. that nacho mm-hmm. cheese and that. I bet if it had jalapenos in it, and that juice got in your in your cuts, boy, I bet that felt good. 
I was so angry, but then I turned <laughs> around and realized who threw it, and I was like, I am not going to jail tonight. So I just went back to the locker Who Who threw it? Inquiring minds want to know. A little girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to do that. No, no, no. I was like, no. It was – no. Can't, Junior can't Junior wants that. to know, what was your best hardcore match in the Indies? That is a very hard question. To be honest, Rage Davison. So what happened in that match? Explain explain the match. Tell me the story, man. I walked in there with a giant head on my shoulders and I got my I got I pretty much got my ass handed to me. <laughs> <laughs> After the match, he pinned me and then What he all took what all did he hit you me. with, man? You said it was a hardcore match. What all what all did he hit you with? Steel chairs, trash can lids, trash cans, kendo sticks. Oh, wow. Actually, the kendo stick was like five times up here. I can't keep count of that. But oh, like, after the first here. time, I'd have lost memory, man. But that's just me. That's craziness right there. I had fun, though. Minus the fact that I was limping on the way back home. <laughs> right? It sounded like a lot of fun. I'm going to put a couple of things out while people get some questions up. If you have a question for Max Carnage, be sure to put it up here in the comments. I'll be sure to post it up here so Max can answer them. While he's while you're thinking of those and putting them up there, I'm going to make a few announcements. One is I'm going to be doing things a little bit different. My show will always air on Facebook, but what I'm going to be doing is uh, the next day after it airs on Facebook, I'm going to be taking it down. I'm going to be reloading it to hashtag truth, my YouTube page. So if you want to, if you missed the show when it's up live or you want to show your friends, or if you want to go back and relive the interview, you'll have to go on hashtag truth. Tell everybody to subscribe. My goal between now and the end of the year is to get a thousand subscriptions. I usually don't ask people to do anything wrestlers or anything else. But if you could put the word out there uh, and get me to a thousand subscriptions, that will help me out because then that'll monetize me and they'll put those little commercials everybody hates to see on YouTube on there and I get money back. So I'm not asking anybody to uh, pay me to do this. I never will. But just to help me out, I I am going to be putting all my videos straight over to YouTube. So that way, uh, if you want to see the videos, they'll be there forever. And 20 years down the line, when you want to show your grandkids that you were a wrestler and you were interviewed on Hashtag Truth, you can go back and, and you can see that. So if you could pass the word around, subscribe to Hashtag Truth. It's, it's spelled just like it is up here at the top. It doesn't have the symbol. It's spelled out Hashtag Truth, man. All right, let's get back to the questions. Rhonda said, did you ever go to South Carolina to wrestle? I have, yes. I've wrestled in South Carolina twice. Do you have your South Carolina wrestling license right now? Not at the moment, but hopefully I will soon. Okay. So so you have applied or I don't know how that works. I have my I have my physical to send in. All I need to do is fill out the paperwork for the athletic commission and then I need to send it in. Ah. Gotcha. Sounds good. I hope I hope you get that, man, because you'll be down in my neck of the woods. It'd be easier nice. for me to come see you. You come down come down to South Carolina. <laughs> but all right. Well, man, do you have anything else you want to tell everybody about Max Carnage? The questions have stopped. Uh about to call it a night. But what give give everybody uh where you're gonna be in the near future again so they know where to come see Max Carnage. Give you three. We got the ACCW show July 20th. We have AWC August 10th in Morganton, North Carolina at the Morganton National Guard Armory. And we have the opening show ACE coming up August 16th. That sounds good, man. Well, everybody, this is Max Carnage. He is part of, he is the newest member of Five Star District. Um, we're going to have Felix Feelgood on. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, y'all come back. Oh, wait a minute. I got a question last minute. I'm, I'm not going to let anybody go. What was What is worse, Legos or thumbtacks, brother? 
Oh my god. <laughs> Thumbtacks all the way. Um, have you ever been? Uh, what is the worst? Uh, what is the worst situation you have ever had with thumbtacks? It wasn't worst on my part. It was worst on Mike Levy's part. Can I say that? <laughs> so, you know, did you did you like choke slam him onto it? Uh, how how did he land on the thumbtacks? How did he get the thumbtacks in him? Well, I mean, I kind of opened his mouth and put thumbtacks in his mouth and hit him in the face. Oh, I ain't never seen that before. Oh, man. Tell me you got a video or a picture of that somewhere. I'm going to have to do some digging, but I'm sure I can find it for you. Dude, if you find that, send it to me. I would love to see that. That would be totally – that'd be that's that's a Facebook picture right there, man. That, that will get you a 1,000 likes, no doubt. <laughs> I've heard of all kinds of – I've heard of probably 100 different ways you can land on tax or have tax, you know, put into your body. But I've never heard of somebody having them in their mouth and then somebody hitting them in the face. Ow. Was there blood, a lot of blood coming out of his mouth? Uh, yeah. Kind of? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ah, <laughs> okay. I got you. Junior, everybody who asked questions, man, I appreciate it. That's what hashtag truth is all about. Come on, come on, ask your uh, favorite indie wrestlers the questions that you want to know. And man, I'm telling you, Max, I'm glad you showed up tonight. I finally, finally glad we got together and was able to have a few minutes with you because we've been trying to get this done for about a month. And if it's not something that's happening on my end. It was something that was happening on yours, but I'm glad you came by and come back to hashtag truth at any time, man. You've always got an open invitation with me. Thank you, buddy. I really appreciate it. No problem. We're going to call it a night, guys. Remember, tomorrow, Felix Feelgood of Five Star District will be here, and we're going to keep going with Five Star. Like I said, after Felix, that'll be three down and two to go, right? So let's make it happen. Max, you have a great night, and we're going to call too, it a buddy. night, guys.